Let's go to the room. Oh my god. <laughs> Today we're going to take you on a trip to see the man. See the man? See the man. See the man. But first, take on our raincoats because it's raining like hell here. Yeah. In a review, someone said Siedemann is what you get if you turn Ubud upside down and shake out all the bad stuff. If that is true, we will find out. The rain finally has stopped. It's time to put the rain jackets away. And where did we stop? It is here. I don't know what, what's the name, but it's just so beautiful. I can't believe how nice it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice view as well. Hello. Hi. How was the peeing experience? Good. I mean, I'm pretty refreshed. Are we getting a bakso? No, just, uh, I'm just getting me going. Have a new favorite drink. It's not tea, it's like kind of tea ish with um, carbonated. But it's good, it's alright, it's refreshing. I like it. Seeing the landscape change, I could already feel that the whole area around Sidemen is amazing. By the way, it is known to have nice waterfalls as well, and since we love water, we will check them definitely on our trip. So we're just about to check in and. Quinn is pretty happy with this. Let's go to the room. Oh my god. <laughs> you should smell my face. Like this is the, mo the moment I come in, I was just like... And then she was like... I myself coming in. Wow. Bagus. <laughs> Bagus. And then I was like... And then, and, then I rem and then I remembered that you were outside with the bike and I was like... And then she was like, I'll do it. And then I was like... <laughs> <laughs> this is the freaking view, guys. This is the view. For 200,000. 200k. The rice fields right next to us, right in front. Coconut trees. The other rice fields. Is this, is this yeah. breakfast included? Uh, yes, breakfast is included. I guess that's... How we work now for the next two days. Good morning from our guest house in Sidemen. It's definitely a very cold place. It's it's really cold in the morning, and even at night, we don't need AC at all. Um, so if you're somewhere in the hot areas and need a change of sceneries, mountains, you know, cold air in the morning, and yeah, Sudaman is the perfect place to go. So we are going to the waterfall now. Um, I don't know how just how touristy it would be, but it looks good, so we're just gonna go check it out, you know, get ourselves some fresh water on our bodies. The waterfall we are heading to is called Tukachapung, and from the pictures, it seems to be quite an Instagrammable place to go. Let's just hope it's not too crowded. First observation is there is really a lot of stairs down, and on the way down, there is many, many, many gift shops. It's peaceful, I have to say, for that many gift shops. Usually, people are a little bit more salesy, but they just look at you, smile, and sometimes they like, Where are you from? You want to buy something? No, okay, you know, and then they leave you in peace.
feels so great. It's so fresh. That's what I'm here for, man. That's like literally what I'm here for. Just cold water all over my body. Like being awake and fresh and yeah. I'm good. You're Hi. Going. You're new. Follow me. <laughs> so we've seen the big waterfall, but now we're checking this place out. It seems to be a small waterfall. Follow me. I don't know about you, what about you guys, but I think this is, might be even a little bit more beautiful. I, my face. I find it hard to believe that the whole waterfall area is so crowded with people. Well, not that crowded, but kind of crowded. But there's just, just one spot here that's like a really good walk. Really good walk. You know, quiet still. But there's no one, you know. This is a really nice addition to the whole waterfall trip that we're doing right now. Now we're walking towards the picture area again and back on our bikes, back in our bike actually. And next stop would be Panglipuran village. We just kind of saw it on the maps and it's nearby so we're gonna go there. We don't know what to expect and yeah, we'll see what we find. Welcome to Desa Panglipuran. It's pretty underwhelming. <laughs> There are some nice structures and you can see art. Would you pay 75k for that? No. Time to bounce, huh? Time to bounce. So, um, we decided to drive around Sidemen um, to this spot called Sidemen Rice Terrace. Um, and yeah, we're just oh. walking down a pathway. Um, hopefully, we'll find some like Rice terraces to walk on. I think if we found something. Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, you... I just love this place so much. Everything is just beautiful. I feel like we'll find more. But this is this is not enough. I mean, this is great. This is amazing. But like, have you seen those cliffs over there? Maybe, you know. The Look cliffs. at my greed right now. Like, <laughs> I want Give more me. cliffs. I want to see cliffs. You know, like like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cliffs would be amazing, yeah. Kita bisa jalan-jalan aja gitu. Oh, wow. So we found a group of people who will show us around, huh? And yeah, we have this guide here. And he's... I don't know if it's this kind of place here, piece of earth, <laughs> but we are allowed to go here. It seems to be private, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So amazing. So we decided to stay another day in beautiful Sidemen because it's, it's just so beautiful. It's really a nice place. And yeah. So it's today Sunday and uh, we stay till uh, til tomorrow. And, uh, We're gonna visit another waterfall today. Yes, it is called Gemblang. So yeah. let's go. Bye! Hey! We are now in this pool. Nong Krong. Nong Krong. It's quite nice.
and after the waterfall, we took the scooter out for a little tour in the area. We met a lady and she talked to us and invited us to her place for a coffee. And the next day, it was time to go back home. There was just one more thing we needed to do. There was an offer I couldn't decline. Healthier than Bang Bang. I was considering getting one. So, we're on our way back. See the madness. We amazing. will miss it. It's amazing. We will miss it a lot. But today it's a work day, so we had to leave early and now go back to Ahmed. I could imagine living here. Like, it's just a better Ubud. I really want to live in Sidemen someday. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Sidemen. Yeah. Let's buy a house there. Should I buy a house? Manifest. Manifest. I'm manifesting a house right now. The universe is telling me it takes another 10 years. But it's fine. Yeah. Thank you, universe. <laughs>